Imagine stepping on a train in downtown Edmonton and 45 minutes later arriving at the Calgary airport. That's the aim behind a proposed project by the company Transpot. It's a Toronto-based startup developing technology for a train that could travel over 1,000 kilometers per hour. And why do you want to build one of these fast trains between Edmonton and Calgary and maybe not in other parts of Canada? Or have you looked at other parts as well? If you start with Alberta, it's only 200 kilometers, only one province. There's no passenger rail service as of today. So it looks like the ideal candidate uh, to start in Canada. Uh, and um, some might question, you know, why would you build this new train using new technology, unproven maybe technology, instead of just building a high-speed train using systems that are used in other parts of the world, like Europe and China? And our system, you can mix freight and passengers. One of the conclusions of our feasibility study is that 60% of the ridership is coming from freight. And because of that, then we can attract private funding and be less concerned of the profitability of our system and uh, and attract private investment to the province. Any idea what a ride would cost on something like this uh, once it's built and it looks like it projected within 10 years? Uh, yeah, $60 one way. So that's okay. the... That's the Discount for seniors? Yeah, I won't hold we'll you see. to it. I won't hold you to it. <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian, you're also working on getting a test track here in Edmonton. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so the test track is the Edmonton Airport connection. Uh, so that will be the first phase to demonstrate that it's safe to uh, uh, transport passengers and goods. So it's to start the construction of the test track. Uh, we're talking about seven kilometers along the Highway 2 between the airport and the south end of the city. And the idea is to stop near the Heritage Valley line. Mm -hmm. So the plan is to kick off construction uh, next year, two years of construction, and then move on to the full line before 2030. 